screens are an important part of every dermatologist's prescription. I'm Dr. Vindhya Pai and welcome to my channel Skin Talks. Why is it important to wear a sunscreen every day? So many people ask me this. They also tell isn't um, sun rays important for us to produce vitamin D in our skin. There's so much awareness on all this uh, going on right now. So my answer to this is UV rays on a prolonged uh, duration can be deleterious to human skin. They produce free radicals, they produce uh, reactive oxygen species which can uh, damage the DNA permanently and can cause immunosuppression. So it's very important to protect our skin from UV light. Uh, UV light as we all know it has different rays like UVC rays, UVA rays and UVB rays. So I can say that you know UVA and B rays are the ones which produce damage to the skin. UVA rays penetrate the farthest into the skin and produce tanning and carcinogenesis whereas uh, UVB rays produce sunburns. So if you are outdoors the whole day and you get burnt, it's probably the UVB rays which are producing an effect on your skin. So, nevertheless, it's very important to protect ourselves from a sunscreen which is a combination of both UVA and UVB rays. Uh, UVC rays do not penetrate the earth's surface because it's completely absorbed by the ozone layer. So now broadly, sunscreens can be classified into physical and chemical sunscreens. Physical sunscreens are the ones uh, which are like zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, talcum. So all these are uh, different forms of physical sunscreens. If you ask me a simple lotion which contains all these three ingredients, it's our favorite calamine lotion. So what does an ideal sunscreen look like? Well, it should be a combination of UVA and UVB blockers. It should not leave a chalky white residue on your skin. Nobody wants to look um, a little um, uh, obvious that you know they have put a sunscreen on their face. So it should not leave any residue. It should be cosmetically elegant. Uh, it should be physically uh, inert, which means that it shouldn't react with the other ingredients we put on top of the sunscreen like makeup. It shouldn't react with that and make it uh, inactive. Uh, it should be sweat resistant and water resistant. Um, so uh, these are the important characteristics of an ideal sunscreen. But the most important of all is that it should be affordable. There's no point in buying a sunscreen which is not fitting your budget because this uh, particular product has to be worn every single day, at least twice or thrice daily. And it should be applied in the right amount. Because if you take a little bit, apply it on your hand and then put it on your face, it's of no use. There is a technique, uh, in, there's a way to apply um, sunscreen. It should be, uh, if you can um, uh, take a teaspoon, I mean this is just as an example I'm giving you. It should be about 3 ml for face and neck. So it should be more than probably half of a teaspoon. So that much is required for uh, covering the full face and neck. So even infants, more than six months of age are also advised to put sunscreens. Uh, they are advised to put physical sunscreens like I already mentioned, inorganic ones which have uh, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. 